everyone for your patience. Uh, welcome once again to the Gates Charlie Community Music Festival. Um, we are uh, going back to the jazz ensemble side of things, and I'm so excited to have this group with us. Uh, I've had the pleasure of, of subbing from this group a few times over the years, and they're just an amazing ensemble filled with some great musicians and improvisers, and they've got quite the set for you. Um, so, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the Gates Chilei Performing Arts Center, the Rochester Metropolitan Jazz Orchestra. Oh, 
Check, check. All right, all right. Did you have enough vocal in your monitor? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so our next tune, uh, we're gonna give you a little earth, wind, and fire. Uh, this is a song called Get Away.
Armstrong for a low on the tenor saxophone. Phil GPS on the trombone. Who's a Chuck Angeli number, I think, next? Test, test, test on this microphone. Okay. Hello, hello. hello. All right. I'd love right. to do a little Chuck Mangione. Uh, he is local, after all. Yeah. Are Let's you feeling do... down and out? You know what? No. Good. But Good. I'm going to pretend <laughs> for the sake of the lyrics of this next song. This is called Land of Make Believe. And fun little fact here. You're gonna see a flugelhorn player in a minute play a beautiful melody, and that's my dad, Bernie Schroeder. There he is. I don't know what's for When you're feeling down and out, wondering what. It's a place where no one dies. It's a land where no one cries. And good vibrations always greet you. Oh, I 
I'm going to hand the vocal mic to the trombonist. Good luck with that. Now this is a tune that Louis Armstrong wrote about strutting with some barbecue. I always like to think about it as the food. I think he was talking about a, a beautiful young woman. Uh, but we hope you enjoy it. Featuring Art Feluca on the clarinet, Jim Hafner on the trombone, and they're all pointing at you. I guess it's you, John. John Engstrom on the trumpet. <laughs> Louis Armstrong, strutting with some barbecue.
You can also purchase our newly released album, Just Friends, with 13 tracks, including the one you just heard. Uh, so you can take us home for the low, low price of $15 if you still own a CD player. Do you still own a CD player? What's a CD player? You spend, you spend discs, but they're not made of vinyl. Um, and you can also download it on the, album, the entire album on the website for just $9.99. It's a nice low price. Um, we're going to give you one more tune, but if you want to see hear more, Wednesday night, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, Cherry Ridge, or the following Wednesday, uh, which is the Wednesday night of the Jazz Festival, 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. on Jazz Street Stage. For those uninitiated, that's Gibbs Street, which becomes Jazz Street Stage for the best nine days in Rochester. And we'll be there. Those, both of those performances are free. Uh, and then, of course, we, we're playing all season long, so we'll see you over the summer. Uh, we're going to give you one of our favorite closers that we love to, to, to play, and uh, this is a tune by Dennis DeYoung. The band is all surprised because I'm jumping around. Uh, that he wrote uh, for the band Styx, which he was in, and uh, this is when they were on the way up. They were trying to get chart toppers, and uh, they wrote this one in hopes that people would remember them, and we're still playing it today. Uh, this is Come Sail Away.
Thank you so much.
bear with me for a moment. <clears throat> hello, hello. Yes? All right, so John Williams, I just wanted to acknowledge Terry Skelly for her fine work on trumpet in that song, so congratulations. Um, I also uh, want to take a moment to talk about this next piece that we're about to do. Uh, we're about to play our very first uh, concert performance of this uh, brand new work written by a local composer named Joey Stempian. Uh, I became aware of Joey a couple years ago uh, as he is doing a lot of work with uh, the U of R Jazz Ensemble. He fronts his own band, which uh, is a tremendous big band made up of some great local college musicians. Uh, in fact, they impressed me so much I asked him to play our Java Jazz event here at the high school a few months ago. And uh, Joey actually wrote a piece for my jazz band this year for a trip down to Nashville. And it was uh, so well received and such a cool piece. I asked him, would he possibly be interested in writing for um, concert band? And I don't think Joey had really written too much of anything for concert band up until this point. And he has just written a beautiful piece that we're going to premiere for you uh, here today. Uh, really, really cool piece. I, I told him we were going to be hosting this community music festival in June. And just to come up with something of, uh, you know, a piece that kind of represented what we were doing, just bringing folks together. And he came up with this great idea of a piece about a railroad uh, connecting various uh, locations throughout New York State, hence the name of this tune, Empire Service. Um, before we play it, I think Joey's out in the audience, and if he is, I would like him to maybe just come up and maybe say a word or two about the piece. So, Joey, are you out there? Oh, he's right here, front row. He's right here, let me see you. So, I mean, Chris already said basically everything I had kind of already planned to say about the piece uh, coming up here, but when he asked me uh, to write for Wind Ensemble, it was the first time I had ever attempted something like that. So I wanted to go with something that was contemporary, but also kind of played into the wind tradition. Um, as a, a jazz musician, I was more comfortable with some of the more modern aspects of music composition. So I thought, a train-based piece, if you will, would have been the best way to kind of melt those two genres and also bring what Chris had asked for in terms of bringing people together also into that mix a little bit. So uh, thank you for having me and thank you for commissioning this piece. It was a to write for you.
Yeah. Joey, how old are you again? 20. 20. 20. All right. I think he's got a career ahead of him. I'm sure you've heard him. Bound to hear more great things from him coming uh, to a band near you in the future for sure. Um, moving on, we're going to kind of change the field dramatically here. We're going to go from a uniting piece uh, about bringing people together to a very divisive piece called The Witch and the Saint. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but basically it's about two sisters who were shunned from society and lots of weird things happen to them. So, and um, if you want more on that story, just Google Witch and the Saint. There's a whole story. But I'll let the band tell the story uh, as they play through this tune. A really fun tune. I think we played this back uh, in December, and I was like, if we do this community music fest, I want to bring this song back for the end of the year, because we had such a fun time playing it. Uh, anyways, this is The Witch and the Saint. We're going to hear from several soloists in this song, and I better just double check who they are. We're going to hear um, from Janaya Anderson on bass clarinet, Matt Pope on French horn, uh, Lori Hahn on oboe, Terry Skelly on trumpet, uh, Caitlin Gibble on timpani, and was there one more? Was, who am I forgetting? Is that it? All right, I think I got them all. Amazing. All right, this is The Witch and the Saint by Stephen Reinick.
All right. Before our next tune, I just want to take a moment and acknowledge uh, some very special people in the band who have been very instrumental in helping me get this uh, festival put together. Really could not have done this without them. Uh, first and foremost, my uh, assistant conductor, who's actually going to be coming up and conducting in just a moment, uh, Ryan Potter, as well as Sarah Wright. Go ahead and stand up when I call your name, too. Sarah Wright, Janine Bonfiglio, Karen Pope, Amanda Entris, who's already standing in the percussion section. There's Amanda. Uh, Emily Van Scooter, Sarah Irwin, and Marla Shafalo, the director of our continuing education office. Without them, uh, we really would not have been able to organize this event today. So give a round of applause for the So um, this next piece we're going to do is uh, a, a relatively new one for us. We've been rehearsing it for a few weeks, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a favorite of the band. And we're going to bring up to make his uh, directorial debut uh, my assistant director, who I just wanted to let everyone know as well. He's got a little uh, bit of a new job heading his way. Ryan uh, recently found out he's been hired right here in Gates Chilai to be one of our middle school band directors next year. So congratulations to Ryan. So we're very lucky to have him as part of this band and now in the Gates Chilai community uh, as a teacher as well. So we're very fortunate for that. Um, so we're going to bring out Ryan to conduct in canto, and Ryan, just give me enough time to go grab my tenor saxophone, because I'm going to sit in with the band. Okay, very good. Very good.
let me tell you, it was really hard to get off of that chair. I think that was like the only the second time I've sat down since about noon today, so it felt really good to sit down and play. Thank you, Ryan, for affording me that opportunity. I appreciate that. And can we give it up for Ryan Potter one more time? Okay, um, before we play our next tune, I just want to take a moment. Earlier on in the evening, uh, or afternoon, I should say, we're into the evening now, um, we honored a, um, a Gates Child uh, former teacher, uh, Bob Zale, who uh, taught here back in the 1960s and inspired many students. And that got me thinking that, you know what, we've got one of the same type of individuals right here in the Gates Child Aid Community uh, Concert Band as well. I just want to take a moment to recognize him. Um, Dean Eckberg uh, was a chorus teacher here at Gates Child Aid for many years. I, I won't say exactly how many, Dean, but a good long time. Yeah, I started out in the, at the Disney School in 1970. 1970. Wow, man. So Dean, yeah, if you couldn't hear him, 1970 to 2002, Dean taught in just about you know every building in a lot of different capacities, but probably best remembered for the fine work he did as our high school chorus director for many years. And same as I said about Bob Sale earlier, you know, you talk, you run into people in the community, and they, they just talk about you know the great experiences they had at Gates Child Life, and two of the first names that always come up, Bob Sale and, and Dean Eckberg. So, um, I just wanted to recognize Dean. How many of you out in the audience had Dean as a teacher? Anyone out there? Yep, Owen had him as a judge at Solo Festival. That's right. And I'm sure some of you guys had him. It, 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 Dean is it, part of the chorus here as well. I know it's a band crowd we have here today. But Dean, can we bring you up? I just have a little plaque I want to present you with. Come on up, Dean. Give him a round of applause. So, This says, uh, Gates Charlie Community Concert Band Music Legacy Award. This is going to be presented to you, Dean Eckberg, in recognition of your amazing contributions to music at Gates Charlie Central Schools and the many students you've inspired over the years. And we're so glad to have you continuing to inspire us in our community band. Turned off the microphone, that was a mistake. Um, next week, we've got a little medley of uh, Rolling Stones. Did you hear the Rolling Stones are currently on tour? Yeah, pretty good. Is, has anyone out there been to any of their tour stops recently? Mar Marley, you've been? Yeah, that's incredible. Where did you see them? In the, okay, very cool. I, I think they're in Philadelphia, I think on Tuesday night, so not too far of a drive if you're interested in going. And I guarantee you, our performance tonight of the Rolling Stones on tour will be much cheaper than if you travel to Philadelphia and try to go see them live and in person. It will be as good. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Yes. So anyways, this is the Rolling Stones on tour. We're going to feature several sections, including our horn section has some fun in this tune, our trombone section as well. We're going to hear solos from Amy Hahn, again, on flute. We're going to hear a beautiful trumpet duet um, from Terry Skelly and Jacob Black in Ruby Tuesday, and it's just going to be a really, really fun tune. So here is the Rolling Stones on tour on the cheap. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie, for reminding me. Uh, after this song, we have one more tune. We're going to do a, a grand finale performance. And if you were one of those people that signed up to play Stars and Stripes with us at the end, feel free to leave the auditorium, grab your instrument, and just come on backstage while we're performing. And as soon as we're done, we'll bring you on stage for our final piece. So uh, we'll see you out here momentarily. Here's the Rolling Stones.
thank you very much. Yeah. Beat that, Mick Jagger. <laughs> uh, Mick Jagger doesn't usually have French horns accompanying him, so that's, you know, his loss, apparently. Yeah. Fun to play with that. Um, so, so pleased with this band. Uh, we, we've had a lot of fun this year, our third year in existence. The band has really grown, and we just love spending our Thursday nights together making music. This marks our last performance for the year. We'll be back in September uh, rehearsing again, so we're looking forward to that. And my shameless plug as always, if you're interested in joining the Gage Valley Community Concert Band, please contact Marla in continuing education, and we'll get the uh, hit the ground running again in September and have a lot of fun as always. And hopefully we'll culminate in the very same way at the end of next year, doing the Community Music Festival once again. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody once again who was involved, uh, especially all the visiting musicians, especially those of you who stuck around for the duration of the night. Uh, you know, we always try to end on time, but it's an old field concert, it usually goes long, so I'm sorry about that. But thank you for sticking around. Uh, we have one more piece to uh, wrap up the night with. Uh, we're going to uh, bring out the um, members of the band that had played with us before. So maybe folks in, in around the back rows, if you guys can help assist and maybe help bring some chairs and stands out, but feel free to come on out. We've got about 20 people from uh, various groups that perform today. They're gonna sit in for uh, Stars and Stripes. So just give us a moment or two as we get the stage set for them, and then we will play this final piece for you tonight. So just give us a moment and we'll be with you in just a sec. Here we go, the last piece of the evening we're going to feature on piccolo Amy Hahn and Sarah Wright and the combined forces of the Gates Charlie Community Concert Band with the other band members uh, at large from various groups. So thank you for joining us on stage and thanks once again everybody for being here this evening. Here's John Phillips Seuss's Stars and Stripes Forever.